5 days of disappearance 144 hours after my last video I finally made the decision to publish an 8 minute and 7 seconds of a video that I was neither asked for nor did I ever think I would do. This is Stalker Call of Pripyat, the last Stalker game and the living legend in remastered and overhauled graphics with nerve wracking experience and visual immersiveness. For those of you who are wondering why I call this game a living legend, it's because even though this game was the last stalker game that ever came out from Ukrainian developer GSC Game World. It was a game that offered us something that could not be replaced by any other franchise. Thus, this game lived within us. Thus, the patient and passionate mod community kept doing their job and kept this series alive and playable. And speaking of mod community, we have an incredible amount of mods created for this game and mods that are still being made. And when we had no hope of a new game, the mod community even went as far as making a standalone game themselves that says, we have great mods and standalone versions such as Gunslinger, Anomality and Shadow of Chernobyl. As incredible as they are with newly added feature and complete recreations, I always felt the need of a mod that could keep the game true to what as they are already. I would have wanted the new player to know about this masterpiece of a series through playing the original game instead of finding this game through a fan-made title. This led me to take a long time in research to find a way so I can make a graphics mod and have incredible graphics on the actual original release of Call of Pripyat. And so I gathered mods and enough complicated information about mods in Call of Pripyat to make this combo. Now before I talk about any other mods, I think Rishay does a great job at any game when it comes to give improvement in lighting and with RTGI by Pascal Glitcher, it has become even more possible to have striking graphics in older games. And as you can already see, the graphical look in this game, I think if it wasn't for Reshade PC and I was working on, this game looked a little bit off. This one has really good ray tracing global illumination preset and to be honest, the glowing particles and radioactive places and emission storm look absolutely gorgeous. And since I was focused on keeping the mood, I can guarantee it can scare you a lot more than usual. And as you know, the Stalker's Call of Pripyat had a very good collection of weapons with customization and upgrades, but they were very graphically poor like CSGO 1.6, which is why I feel to the necessity of a well-made weapon models. And that is when SDCorp Weapon Pack 3.4 comes in. It has various weapon models that are absolutely same to same carbon copy remastered with very beautiful animations and next-gen details. This was the best mod I came by, not because they have HD weapons, but because they are not models just ex exported and imported from any other 3D model websites or just other video games. But instead, they remade for this game specifically, maintaining all details and nostalgic feeling. The next mod I added to this game was Atmosphere. What it does is that it adds wide number of weather, weather conditions that is realistic, seething and yet scary. When the sun rises and the weather is clear, the shine of sun betweens fabulous looking clouds in this weather. It is breathtaking to look at it and the look of the sky and it gives you the feeling of safety. Just like when the storm emerges. The look of the sky and lighting scares you to the core and dries your throat by forcing you to release adrenaline into a system which switch off your salivary system. And because of this amazing praiseworthy experience they can give you through changing the whole atmosphere, the atmosphere mod gets a huge credit. And what else can make this game look nicer? Well, in 2010, which is the year after the game was released for a specific amount of countries, when everybody got this game in their hand, one thing a lot of people complain about is that the lack of LOD or level of detail for a game that released in 2009. Actually, this game had a great 
level of details and the level of detail was never bad at all, it was never the issue. But the main issue here was the amount of grass, grass detail loaded in the game within a short or small radius of area around the player and the little density of foliages that scattered around the map. For that problem, a mod called Absolute Nature comes in rescue. This mod allows you to choose the height of grass and distance and adds beautiful and remake foliages into the game. You can choose autumn, dried wasteland, looking vegetation and even green ones for each different areas. I chose green for green locations and other depending on their original look. And that's just about it for the workflow and the whole story behind these graphics. And to be perfectly honest, this series deserves something more than just mods because, as I said, it's a video game that offers you the experience that are irreplaceable. Honestly, I have not discovered this series in the early days, but instead, I discovered it during the mid-2021 and I'm, I'm glad I did it and I wish I did sooner. Because after playing so many hours of Fallout, Skyrim and Metro series, I absolutely loved it and never have I ever felt the feeling of jeopardy, helplessness in the hand of Mother Nature, disaster, isolation, responsibility and the feeling of ease after being tensed in one game. This game has a world that is alive and ever-changing. The NPCs have their own lives. This game does not wait for you but instead, it goes in its own pace. Instead of a world that is only created for the lucky main character, stalker and the inhabitants inside the wasteland live their own life, earning, hunting, fighting, singing, camping and things. They fight for their lives and survive, and you do the exact same. It's like you are the part of an ecosystem. You have to worry about your health, radioactiveness, weapon break, uh, weapons break, so you have to repair them, ammunition and even your hunger. So you have to eat. And choices that reflects on your alliances with your people and how you complete missions such as whether you want to pay bad guys to free your buddies or you want to let him be there or fight off and save them. But it does find its way to end after all. To um, The developers had plans to make Stalker 2 after that but unfortunately it never came true. And after many days in June 2021 we finally hear about the Stalker 2 and hopefully it is what we all have been waiting for. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you want to know about this mod and make your stalker look like this and get my reshade preset, you can get it from my website or my Patreon if you like to support more of my work with more of my projects. If you like this one and want more content, make sure to check out my channel. You'll see more of my graphics mod and remasters like this video. Also thumbs up this video and subscribe and turn on the notification button to get notified about my upcoming videos. But until we meet again, we'll see you soon. An emission is approaching.